we'll now discuss the project roadmap uh, for this project this is a training project for this project i have already created an ebook in which various steps have been outlined in a very systematic manner and uh, the various modules they form various chapters of this book scope of the project i have already discussed in my first video right now i'll take you through the various chapters that have been included in this book and uh, we'll be following this scheme from start to finish here it is we'll first of all be preparing the project by uh, starting with a layout file by writing necessary css files bundle configs database entities then we'll work on to facebook login button then we'll write authorization filter administration area navigation menu message helpers these are smaller uh, things uh, separated for conceptual parts only new customer module top 10 customers search a customer edit a customer issue a invoice edit invoice last 10 invoices so this whole sequence will take us through uh, the entire project we'll be following these steps one by one and uh, this book is available for download to you and uh, you can refer to this book as you go as i suggest you should follow each of those things on your own project as i teach you should be creating your project side by side you will be able to understand the various parts so as usual i'll start with a basic mvc application totally empty application and we'll add files to it preparing the project will be our starting point so we'll be starting with this part let me create a basic mvc application for you i assume for this that you have already gone through the all the tutorials on mvc that i have given because i'll not be repeating the basic concepts in this case i'll be simply following through the whole story it is assumed that you understand all the basic fundamentals or tricks of mbc uh we are going through a web mbc4 application we'll give it a name i v m i v m project invoice management project and click okay here i'll start with the basic one i am not picking up any facebook or because it will generate so much of code that it is very difficult to understand the concept behind it we'll be doing everything totally from scratch basic click okay as usual this is the solution explorer tree that has been made for us now we have to start preparing the project for this we'll go to the layout file and see what we can do with that go to the views go to shared open the layout file here we have to uh, i'll fold solution explorer off here we'll add the necessary files at the start of the project so that we don't have to come back again and again and uh, one of the files uh, we'll add all these files right now we can have a look at our bundles for that in the bundles we are having we have to actually add the css files first we'll add this bundle for base by css so that in case we use any uh, ui widgets like auto complete it will be already there i'll add this one here this is styles dot render by css similarly for jquery i'll add the necessary jquery bundles to this 
we'll be adding the bundle for jQuery user interface and jQuery validation so that our client side validation starts working this prepares our layout.cshtml for today then we have to add some CSS file also we'll quickly go for doing that also on our content folder we can right click add new item we'll pick CSS file I am giving it a name hoven dot dot CSS click add remove this one and we can now add uh, certain CSS attributes these I'll need throughout my project so at one time I am adding them generally you add at the end only this is text align right class for error red color full width is a width of 96 percent UI autocomplete loading this name is uh, to be kept uh, like this only because this uh, name is actually attached to the autocomplete widget This is the background that will be shown when the content is being queried from the data from the server. You can set background also to a certain image like this we see many times this please wait and all. But in this case I've just kept a color red so that the background of the text box on which auto loading is occurring this background will become red just to indicate the foreground will become red just to indicate that some sort of server communication is occurring then for our tables we'll keep a margin of three pixels a, a CSS class for that report this one click completes our CSS file just define certain classes for our CSS purposes then we'll proceed to next we have to include this uh, hoven.css to bundle config if we see the bundle config here there is a content by CSS it has one entry for content by site.css we'll have to add we'll, we'll add another entry for hoven.css for this I'm just bringing it down here for this we'll add another argument here comma content by hoven.css to an existing bundle we have added another CSS file this file will get added by virtue of this line that we wrote in our layout.cshtml with this our layout file is complete our hoven.css will be included properly and we are ready to shoot to the next step now what will our next step be we have done layout this we have done CSS files we have added bundle configs we have done now our next step will be to create a database and its EDM so we'll talk about that in our next lecture